Hey cigar lovers, this is Roger with Belvedere Cigar Lounge in Lawnside, New Jersey, and today I'm gonna to do a brief review of the Oliva Connecticut Reserve. I actually did a pretty uh, in-depth review of this cigar before, so I'm actually gonna use this as more of a chance to talk about Connecticut wrappers. Um, there's something about a Connecticut wrapper that I think really draws the eye, kind of that golden brown hue. And at Belvedere in particular, we get a lot of less experienced smokers that are really drawn to Connecticut for some reason. Again, I think it's just the way that it looks. Um, and obviously, if you're an experienced smoker, you know, Connecticut typically means some natural tobacco sweetness, um, milder cigar, um, mostly a natural tobacco flavor, nothing too crazy or complex. But... I want to use this as kind of an example of why you should continue to talk to your tobacconist even after you're comfortable in a cigar store and find out a little bit more about each of your smokes. A lot of times once people know that Connecticut's tend to be more mild and have some natural sweetness to them again and some just, you know, straight up natural tobacco flavor, they tend to think that any cigar they see with a Connecticut wrapper is going to taste like that when they smoke it. Uh, and of course, when you judge your smoke solely by the wrapper, you're not thinking about the binder, you're not thinking about the filler, you're not thinking about how long it's aged or what it's been aged in, whether it be oak or mahogany or, or you know, uh, in a wine barrel or a cognac um, decanter. All of those things are gonna drastically impact the cigar. Um, so case in point, this is a really good example of this. You know, it has a beautiful Connecticut wrapper with some natural sweetness to it. In fact, I did a dry drag um, and I actually got notes of raisin and cedar and it almost smelled like toast, you know, like toasted bread, um, all fairly consistent with Connecticut wrappers, you know, mild, um, some nice natural smokiness to them, but nothing overpowering. But like all Oliva cigars, Oliva, of course, is a Nicaraguan company. Um, there is a kick to this. There's a very strong kick to it. It reminds me personally of white pepper, but I know people that smoke the cigar that think it's stronger than that. They say, yeah, you know, I get dried ancho chilies from it. So um, obviously, you know, this cigar packs a punch and that can be deceiving because of the Connecticut wrapper. Um, so I'm enjoying this cigar very much. I mean, this is one of the quintessential Connecticut smokes. Any tobacconist will tell you that, um, that if you like Connecticut's or if you're um, just trying to, you know, try some more Connecticut's, um, go with the Oliva Connecticut Reserve. It's a wonderful cigar, but it's a lot more complex and has a lot more of a kick than the Connecticut wrapper would imply. So always check with your tobacconist. You can call us at Belvedere Lounge um, in Lawnside, New Jersey. You know, we're happy to help you over the phone if you're not local. You can place an order through our online store if you're not local. But if you have a favorite cigar store that you wanna to go to locally, just make sure you always ask your tobacconist if you're not familiar with the cigar. Um, you know, what, what, what kind of complexity does it have? You know, what else impacts it besides the wrapper? Because you don't wanna ignore all of those other factors. If you've had this cigar before, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Let me know a cigar that you'd like us to review, and thanks for stopping by.